know, Cisco, there is something I don't understand something about. What is the trouble now, Pancho? This rock. This rock says this is the borderline between the United States and Mexico. Borderline. I look all over. I don't see no line. Pancho, sometimes the things you do not see are more there than the things you do see. You know, Cisco, you and me, we are two smart fellows, eh? I think. Thanks, amigo, for including me. Cisco, a fight. That is for us. First, we must see what we fight for. Hold on to your head. Paolo, come on. American cavalry. Hey, now we're going to fight, eh? You take half the bandits, and I take the other half. No, we wait and watch. Anger. Sunday. Sleep on a bullet. Patron! Oh, patron! Oh. Come, let us go to scene quickly. Over the border where we can't go after him. Smart and treacherous, the leader of that gang. Well, that's the Cisco Kid and his friend Poncho. I'd know those horses any place. Well, at least we know who the bandit leader is. Platoon, attention! Forward! Column left! Oh! Attend! Attention! Forward! Column left! Oh! This one will tell us nothing. He can only talk to his ancestors. The dead may talk louder than the living, Pancho. Look, what do you see? I see a dead Mexican bandit. I told you. Sometimes the things you do not see are more there than the things you see. Look close. This man is not a Mexican. No, he's an Americano disguised. He does not only rob for himself, but he hurts the whole people. That is not good to make himself look like a Mexican. Everybody would think all of our people are bandits. I don't like. Look at the face. Hey, I have seen this face before someplace. Of course, in El Paso. Hey. Carmen. See, be Carmen. Well, he would not ride with the Mexican band, and he hates the Mexicans. And the leopard Pancho cannot change his spots. Yeah, but this leopard, he, he don't need such a beautiful belt. I think maybe I... Ah, forget the belt. We go now to the Commandante of the American Fort. There we'll learn more about this. Well, anyhow, the belt has got a broke ornament. I guess it's not for me. Vamanos.
<laughs> Something strike you funny, mister, or weren't you laughing? See, I was laughing. To laugh is to live. One of these days, you're going to laugh yourself to death. Say, it's pretty high down from the top of that rocking horse, no? Rocking horse? <laughs> you know, with a horse like that with a comfortable back, pee, I learned to eat tamales. I suppose you could ride him. See, he can, Sergeant, if you are tired falling off of him. If it's for the Sergeant, then you'll have the best vaquero in all Mexico to broke that horse. And that's you, compadre. Pancho, if he's a wise man, with a compliment, he can save his own neck. At your service, sir. Go ahead. Get on. He's only a rocking horse. Mount, Sergeant. <laughs> Thanks. Think nothing of it, senor. <laughs> Gringo! <laughs> Do not hesitate to call on me any time you wish to tame the wild horses or the wild women. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't smile your prisoner or put every last one of you on stable duty? Sergeant McNally, what's going on down there? The Cisco Kid. That's the leader of the bandits. Put him under guard. Sergeant, how to ride that wild caballo. Let us hope he stays on for many miles straight ahead. Well, why didn't we stop to tell the captain we was honest man? An honest man does not stop to prove that he's honest. Yeah, but he couldn't hold us. No, he couldn't. A lock, a key, and then the gallows. That's all. And that is not very hard for the captain to do. Anyhow, he gave you a big rank. He called you the leader of the bandit. That rank only goes to place me higher on the hangman's tree. Hey, Pancho. I know a little town nearby here. It is so nice and peaceful. So sleepy in the sun. I think we better go there, huh? We'll find out why this captain follows the bandits. No, no. I want to stay far distance away from there. That ain't good for my health. For your health, you stay near to me. Vamonos. Vamonos. Flowers back on top of the map. Mm. 
busy the place, my nose tells me. Find the horses and keep out of sight. Get very, very deep. You two wait here. I'll look inside the cantina. Where does that door lead to? My room. Senorita, I must hide. Hide what? So I should leave another day to bring back the golden sandals. Oh, he did. Shut up! Hands up! 
Oh, Sergeant, is this the bandit you have been looking for? Yes, my little Rosita, that is him. Ah, oh, it's a good thing you come back to protect me. Protect you? I ought to wring your little neck. Wait until your father hears about this. Let's take them away. See you tonight. And so, we know nothing of the raid, Captain Lewis. At the time it takes place, we were far down south of the border at this council. Anybody there you can prove it by? Well, Maria, Cristina, Luz de la Guerra, Juanita, Clarita, Tomate, Jones, and the little brother was... Hey. There was also the mayor of this council. Captain Lewis, I wouldn't believe a word they say. Well, I believe them. I think we've made a big mistake here. Narcisco, you say you heard the shots and uh, that you rode up to see what was going on. We watch and when those fellows fall, we go to look at him and what do you think we find? We find that he was dead, but very dead. So we could learn nothing from him. You uh, didn't recognize him, of course. He was no Mexican I had ever seen before. Oh, that's too bad. His identity might have given us a lead on the rest of them. Take off their handcuffs. Yes, sir. The sergeant. He has a touch as gentle as La Senorita. Here are your guns, Cisco. I'm sorry we bothered you. And I'll take care that you're not annoyed again. Thank you, senor. Adios. Adios. Take care of yourself. to follow them, McNulty. Me, sir? Yes, you. Cisco didn't fool me for a minute. I understand, sir. I'm positive he's the head of that gang of murdering bandits, and we're going to prove it. Yes. I want you to keep your eye on him, trail him wherever he goes. Sooner or later, he'll lead us to the rest of his gang. Captain, I'd like to take these two fists of mine and beat the truth out of him. No, that wouldn't work with Cisco. Don't have any arguments with him. Instead, be friendly. Try to catch him off guard. Use your head, not your fist. Yes. Oh, uh, and one thing more. I don't want Cisco without his gang. Don't bring him in alone, unless he commits murder. Yes, sir. Capitan is a smart man, eh, Cisco? And you are the headless horseman. Yes. You know, you talk wise sometime in the wrong places. But why didn't you tell the Capitan that the dead Mexican was a Americano? Because that was not the right place to be smart. The Capitan did not believe what he said. Oh, he talked from the lips, not the heart, huh? The Pancho. The lips often call the heart the liar. <laughs> Find out much, Pancho. Cisco, you got some brain. You know how to read and that make it more easy for me. <laughs> hey, well, what it is we want to find out? What those bandits have been doing, then we know what we are suspected of. In the territory of Arizona, will never achieve statehood until something drastic is done to rid the border of these bandits. Those are very good words, senor. Who are you? The name is Cisco, short for Francisco. This is Pancho, my friend, and we are not bandits. Oh, but the army thinks that we... Do. Our good friend, Captain Lewis. We think we should learn more about the bandits, so we come here. Oh, then you're representatives of the Mexican government? No, we just represent who we are. Well, I'll be very glad to help you in any way I can. Would you care to look over our back issues? That I would like very much. Well, you'll find them in this room. That's it. Sir. Hello, 
fault. But... How are you, Stono? How's everything with you? Well, at least I'm still alive. Not like poor Bill Martin and his family. That was a terrible thing, wasn't it? Cold-blooded murder. The Martins were poor, hard-working ranch folk. The Raiders had no reason to kill them. Reason? They don't need any reason. These bandits are like mad dogs. They strike at everybody without warning. Well, I think we're about ready to put an end to all that now. Here's our petition, all signed. Good work, Paul. Fine. Now maybe Washington will recognize us as a state. I'm going to get this in the first mail so it'll reach Congress before they adjourn. You're going to do better than that. You'll take it to Washington in person. You're leaving on this afternoon stay. I'm paying your way. Best of luck, Paul. Thanks for everything. I think we've won our puncher. Senor Stonem, I have read enough. My heart, she boils with anger at these bandits. They're your people. <laughs> I take my people as God made them, senor. There is a little bit of good in most of us. There is a little bit of bad in all of us. Hey, Pancho, he, I got the whole business. <laughs> I hope you found what you wanted. Si. Thank you, senor. Adios. Goodbye. Pancho, the army has many eyes. <laughs> He's excited like a wood dick. He won't leave us, eh? Hola, Sergeant. You are looking for someone? Yeah, uh, no, I mean, uh, uh, no, no. For Pancho and me, of course. But why look from so far? You could come with us and see everything we do. I don't care what you do. Uh -huh -huh. The Capitan would be very angry to hear you say that. You must come with us to the cantina and have the kill, eh? We'll even tell you some of the things we plan to do. See, and I promise not to steal you, senorita. Hey, not for at least 15 minutes, anyhow. For 15 cents, I'd knock your head off. Oh, please do it, Sergeant. Then he will be like I call him, the headless horse. <laughs> Vamanos. <laughs> come on, let's win. Y ayer me dijo un mosquito, un chiquitito y muy coquetón. Ayer me dijo un mosquito, un chiquitito y muy coquetón. Me da unos piquetitos que me llegaron al corazón. Me da unos piquetitos que me llegaron al corazón. Ay, 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 I never expected to see. Ah, Rosita, you draw men to you like a magnet. Two drinks for the sergeant. <laughs> but I don't want to drink. You would not drink to the lovely lady of your heart? No. Forgive him. A man in love, he's often angry with his own heart. What is this all about? It is simple, Rosita. Because of you, the army and the Padillos are amigos now. Ah. You see, Sergeant, I fixed everything. Don't I, Cisco? See, that belt you are wearing, it is very pretty, eh, Pancho? Yeah, well, it's too bad it got a broken ornament. Say, this is a, a beautiful belt. Where did you get it, Rosita? From a friend. Such generosity could only come from the Sergeant. The Sergeant does not give presents. I got it from Bill Brett. That bull neck blacksmith. Ah, uh, Pancho, the sergeant is unhappy. Amuse him with your road tricks, eh? This I always like to do. Now, first, I want to show you a little trick. This a little trick. Keep your eye on top of the loop like this, eh? Hmm? <laughs> See that? Ah, you see that? Now, I show you a big trick. I learned on a rancho with many cattle with horns so long like this. Do you know how to put two oxen with horns so big in the same job? No, and I don't want to know. You don't want to know? No. Then I'm going to show you anyhow. Now, put your arms out like that. Stick up your horns like that. First, you put the loop around the horn of one ox like that. Then you put the rope around the horn of the other ox like that. And you pull them together like this. Eh? Now, the oxen, they don't like the horns together. So, you, you do this. <laughs> you see? And that's the way the vaqueros make the two oxes work as one. Pancho, 
You did the trick all wrong. This is the way they bought the other Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What do you think you're doing? Hey, take it easy, will you? What, what is this? I'm showing you how the trick is done. Hey, let me loose. Let me loose. Let me come back here and let me loose. That is not part of the trick. Rosita, get a knife and cut me loose before anybody sees me like this. Not until you buy me a present. Oh, sure, anything, anything. Just get a knife. Sandals? Golden sandals you buy me? Yes, golden sa Golden sandals, huh? Sure. I'll buy you golden sandals. <laughs> So, the blacksmith gives to Rosita the belt we saw in harmony. I think we'll look more closely at this blacksmith. Hey, hey, was it not good I did not take the belt from Harmon? Ah, oh, Pancho, you have the great willpower. <laughs> Gracias, Cisco. You know, sometimes I think two times before I make up my mind. Then you make it up for me. <laughs> Why are you worried about him, Brack? You just said the army picked him up. Yeah, then they released him. That's what I don't understand. We're going to lay low till I find out what they're up to. Well, I don't think we'll have long to wait. What can I do for you? My horse, Diablo. He has a bad shoe. There's nothing the matter with that shoe. It looks good enough to me. Good is not good enough, senor. For Diablo, it must be perfect. He is a horse with a soul. I thought the army had you two locked up in jail. Oh, that. The good sergeant was in too big a hurt. The sergeant, he make a very big mistakes. He thinks we are bandits. Can you imagine that? <laughs> but jails have a way of opening up for the honest people. Oh, yeah? Your voice says you think I lie. Oh, you've got me all wrong, mister. I always mind my own business. Bueno, then I would like to know if I know an hombre called Harmon. That little Rosita, she talked too many. What do you want with Harmon? That is my business and his. Do you know where I can find him? Nah, I don't keep track of every two-bit gunman on the border. For that, I think, if Harmon will cut off both you dear someday. Oh, <laughs> no, he won't. Not Pete Harmon. Maybe you'd like to have it do by an expert. I cut the ears up close to the head. No scars. They look beautiful that way, I think. Pretty tough customers, ain't you? <laughs> You're tolling us. How much do I owe you for looking at the shoe? Ah, forget it. Son of house. Gracias. Adios. Now we know two of the bandits. Armin and Brack and both Americanos. This man Brack, he stops with much knowledge. <laughs> we will shake it out of him, eh? Not yet. For that we are not ready. How many times have I told you never to level a gun at a friend? You are one lucky fellow that he call you his friend. I don't want to have any trouble with you, Sergeant. I have too great a respect for your uniform. Cisco, this uniform isn't glued to me. Besides, you're not going to fight the Army. You're going to fight Mr. McNulty. Put up your dukes. Pancho, pick up the Army coat.
done better myself. No, I am the best in the world. Yes, yes, Pancho, we know that. Rosita, will you please give this to the sergeant when he wakes up? Si. We better go now, Pancho. One big lie. Senor Paulson was not going to be married. Maybe the newspaper made a mistake. What is a lie but a mistake with a purpose? Why does the newspaper want to tell a lie? Because Paulson was carrying a petition to Washington. And for this, people get killed? See, si, Pancho. Mr. Stolom did not want that petition to reach Washington. I think he has a lot to do with these Mexican bandits. You, you mean you think that Stoneham is the head of the horse and Brack is the tail? Uh, Pancho, you are a very smart fellow. <laughs> I have an idea how to corral this horse. We take care of it first thing in the morning. Eh? your 
money and you owe your jewelry to my amigo. Brother. You go back there. Hey, amigo, how many times have I told you from the beautiful senoritas you do not take, except maybe a key? <laughs> amigo, in all of our hold ups in Nogales, in Piedras Negras, and Casablanca, from the senorita we get many kisses. <laughs> Sometimes more kisses than jewelry. You keep my ring and I'll keep my kisses. Speak for yourself, young woman. Never tell a bandit his business. Bravo, senorita. Hey. To the young one, give her back her ring. To this other one, you make her happy, eh? Oh, you kiddo. You know what I told you to do? Hey. Hey. One. Sit down there. This is crazy. I've been held up 20 times. By yeah. amateurs. Huh? You call Black Bart and Billy the Kid amateur? Black Bart and Winnie the Kid is just chicken feed. You don't think much of yourself, do you? Not as much as my amigo. <laughs> you like to hear me tell how I killed that man in Sonora. Then I ride all night to kill his six cousins. I finally got an uncle in Canyon Diablo. And I ride to Canyon Diablo and... Ah, tell it to your grandmother. Please do not interrupt. The last time an hombre tell me to tell it to my grandmother, I killed him dead three times. One time for my grandmother, one time for my grandfather, and one time for myself. the door and bring me the key. Come in here, senor. I haven't anything valuable, Mister. It is not your money I wish, only your knowledge. You will get the type ready. I will tell you what to print. I only take orders from the boss. I am the boss. Go on. Start. We'll put it in the big head letters. Mexican bandits strike again. You know, you are a pretty lucky young lady or such a pretty palomino. That's why I give you back your ring. How about my ring and my watch? Is yeah, that I'm going to think about? You know, I don't like to take your things, but that's my business. Look, that watch of mine is a keepsake. All right, I keep it. This terrible menace will stop. Your voice is different, but you sure got the boss's style. Sounds like the words come right out of him. A compliment to treasure, senor. And now you'll run off a copy quickly. Yes, sir.
that in there. You saw them. Who were they? It's only one. The fellow that calls himself Cisco. Cisco. Open this door. Unlock this door. I've got a better way to handle it. I don't want you to mention this to a soul. You understand? Well, you don't trust me, Mr. Stoneham. Good. Now you go home and stay there till I send for you. Yes, sir. the story of my mother-in-law. You've been very entertaining, Mr. Bandit. But are you going to keep us here all night? You said that? One time I'll keep my guests here four days. What's this about the stage being held up again? Not only that, I've been robbed too. I have do everything you want me to do. Well, say you didn't get a look at these bandits. Hmm. Wouldn't be able to identify them. That's right. How much money did you have in this cash box? Why, I... Not very much. Uh, about $50. I think I know who did it. What's going on in there? Stoneham, he's telling the sergeant he has been robbed, but he's not saying what has been taken from his face. But you can't hear what they say over there from over here. I have ears in my mind, amigo. I took from his safe all the things that the banditos have been stealing. I do not think Stoneham would be talking about this. I understand what you're saying, but I don't know what you mean. I'll send word to Captain Lewis immediately. The next time you see me, I'll have your money back for you. I hope so. What do you think you're up to, Stoneham? What's the matter with you? This. I don't like double-crossers. And I don't like your manner nor your words. Look, I didn't do this stagecoach job, but I want to know who did. There wasn't any stagecoach holdup at all. The Cisco kid made me print that story at the point of a gun. You don't expect me to swallow that. It's the truth. You know, we were doing pretty good, Stoneham. You and me. My boys were doing the jobs. And you were writing the cover-up stuff. Now, if you were through, why didn't you say so? But I'm not through. Well, me and the boys are. Open up the safe. I'll take our cut of the stuff now. I can't give it to you. Cisco stole it. He took it all. Every bit. Stop trying to make a sucker out of me. I heard you tell the sergeant you were robbed of only $50. I couldn't afford to let the Army know what I had in the safe, could I? Ah, uh, the more you talk, the less I believe you. You ain't putting anything over on me. Now, I'm warning you, Stoneham. I'll never leave this town alive until I get my cut of that money. Hey, 
Their friendship looked like the other end of a perfect day. See, I think now Brack will look for a new partner. Outside of town. I was robbed of all my money. Me too. But I really didn't mind because the bandits were so nice. One of them was the most. How surprising. many in the gang? Two. Mexicans? Yeah. One of them riding a pinto and one a palomino? That's right. But how did you know? Lady, I looked into my crystal ball. But let me tell you something. After this experience, I'm going to cut out selling brushes any farther west than Independence, Missouri. Let's get to our horse. Okay. Senor Brack. What are you doing here? When a man wants to see a friend, he comes to his house. Oh, oh I suppose so. I'm glad you're here to try and square things with me. Nobody sent me here to square anything. I came here to make it easy. Sit down. Sit down. I learned all about your whole setup. Pete Harmon told me in El Paso. That sounds all right. But before we talk any deal, what about the stuff Storm said you took out of his safe? That was half mine. You cannot believe everything he says. He's a very greedy fellow. Maybe he wanted to keep it all. I think maybe you're right about that, Cisco. What's your proposition? I take Carlos' place. We split 50-50. Well, that's a deal. Now, I will tell you. I have a job, what you call it, is a bonanza. It will make us both rich. I need help. Well, what about your pal Pancho? Poor Pancho. He's a great caballero. But today his horse went lame when the soldiers were chasing us and they caught him. Anyway, I need many men. Everyone you can lay your hands on. I'll take care of that. Come on. But I'm warning you, Cisco. You better be on the level. See, it's for his owners on the level. Bring that hombre here. 
You're looking for trouble? I never look for trouble, Duke. But when trouble comes looking for me, I meet it my own way. Look, open up, Brack. My neck's in this, too. I had him all wrong. He's not with the Army. Besides, I think he's got everything that was in Storm safe. Anyway, he's a dead umbre, whichever way the wind blows. Where is this call? Don't you start that now. The sergeant's better not. The sergeant is a noble man. Cisco is the one who's got the black heart. Fine thing coming from his best friend. Best friend. Cisco don't got no friend. It's the killer I want. He robs and steals and keeps everything for himself. Oh, he's not so bad. <laughs> Rosita, if you know what he's up to, tomorrow at noon when the sun is high, he plans to rob those poor miners. Which miners? The ones in the mountains who send their gold to the stamp mill. Why aren't you with him? No, he's too big now for poor Pancho, his one-time friend. <laughs> How I wish that army would be there to meet him at Lopez Rock. You should not say such things. I like Cisco. I like Cisco. You are just the same as Dolores, Carmen, Luisa, Maria, and all the rest. They make a fool of you. Nobody makes a fool out of Rosita. You all say, bravo, Cisco. And then you find out the golden sandals are only golden promises. You mean he promises them all golden sandals? Yeah. And the little fool did believe him. And all the time he's thinking about his beautiful wife at home. Well, but that is Cisco. He gave all the women the double up cross. I make one fine Mexican bandit. <laughs> you lead the way, Cisco. It's your party. Gracias. Are you superstitious, Cisco? See, si. I never wink at the cross-eyed woman. And in a hold-up, he's never looked for me until I shoot the driver. Yeah, before he shoots you. After he shoots me, it is hard luck. <laughs> That's funny. Only one wagon. I thought you said you needed a lot of men. The gold is heavy. Four horses. Very smart of them to send only one wagon and no guards, eh? All right, your shot, Cisco. 
for you, Capitan. Just one moment, please. Brack. See, si. and the others, all Americanos. Every one of them. So Brack is the head of this gang. No, he ain't the head. He's only the tail. I got the head in the wagon. I show you. All of you, move over there. Pronto. I am very, very comfortable, Capitan. Sometimes silence is golden, but often it is too much. <laughs> I don't know, maybe he's dead. Eh? Stone him. This is hard to believe. Seeing is believing. Here is the proof. What about the holdup you and Pacho pulled yesterday? Was that also part of your plan? See? Sometimes plans are put together to discover other plans. Hey, Sergeant, show the Capitan the other part of our plan. The stuff from the stagecoach in your saddlebag. I've got many things on top of my head that don't come out. What's the trouble now, Pancho? I don't understand how a warm-blooded caballero like you can leave a beautiful, barefoot senorita like Rosita to that rocket horse sergeant. You know better, Pancho. We never take anything from a man unless we give it back. Thank you for telling me. Don't mention it. No, I won't tell nobody. 